Imagine this, a stealth jet so advanced that even the country that engineered it can't modify it as quickly as the nation flying it. A fighter born in America, but upgraded at a pace the United States itself can't match. A machine that has become more than a weapon, it's a signature of national ingenuity. Today, we're diving deep into why the F-350 i 8 air Israel's customized version of the F-35 is evolving faster, adapting quicker, and transforming more radically than the jets sitting in America's own hangars, and the truth behind that might surprise you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about something extraordinary in the world of aviation and defense technology. This topic blends innovation, geopolitics, engineering brilliance, and the relentless pursuit of battlefield advantage, the rise of the F-350i Adir, the Israeli modified version of America's most advanced fighter jet. And while the F-35 program is an American masterpiece, Israel has managed to take this stealth platform and turn it into an entirely different beast, one that evolves faster, adapts faster, and receives new capabilities long before other nations even request permission to test them. In this script, we're going to take a deep, immersive look at how Israel transformed a USC-built fighter into something uniquely their own. When you first look at the exterior of the F-350i, you might think it's identical to the American F-35A and visually you wouldn't be wrong. The same sharp angles, blended fuselage, smooth surfaces, radar absorbent skin, and signature unbroken contours define its stealth architecture. But beneath that seemingly identical surface, Israel has managed to integrate layers of electronic warfare systems, defensive pods, and locally produced components that shift the aircraft's capability far beyond standard configurations. The exterior houses subtle differences in antennas, Israeli EW arrays, and reconfigured access points that allow maintenance crews to install or swap mission systems without relying on American contractors. These changes may be invisible to the casual observer, but they fundamentally redefine the adder's combat flexibility. Israel's top priority is rapid adaptation during conflict, and its Air Force wants a jet that can be reprogrammed as quickly as threats evolve. That philosophy begins right at the skin level, where Israel insisted on having the freedom to access areas of the airframe that U.S. jets keep tightly controlled. Moving inside, the interior might seem identical at first glance as well, but the differences lie more in the software ecosystem than in the physical cockpit. The short version is this Israel demanded open architecture. That means their pilots can run Israeli built apps, mission tools, and interface upgrades right through the jet's brain without waiting years for American software updates. The cockpit remains sleek, dominated by a large touchscreen display and a helmet that costs more than a luxury car. But what the pilot sees on that display and how quickly new functions can be added is sharper, more localized, and tailored to Israel's combat environment. It's an interior shaped for rapid decision-making, electronic advantage, and custom mission logic that Israel can update in days instead of years, giving them the ability to evolve their interface faster than any other F-35 operator on Earth. Now let's talk about performance, which is where the conversation becomes even more interesting. The base F-35 platform is already a powerhouse, with its F-135 engine generating over 40,000 pounds of thrust and pushing the jet past Mach 1.6. But Israel's modifications have made the aircraft more lethal in their unique combat theater. The Israeli Air Force often executes operations in environments where adversaries are densely packed, heavily armed with evolving missile systems, and close enough that mission parameters must be updated on the fly. Because of this, Israel has built customized performance enhancements using local data links, superior real-time threat detection, 
and its own long range standoff weapons. Unlike other F-35 variants that rely exclusively on American approved systems, the Adir can carry Israeli built missiles, glide bombs, and precision weapons that give it a level of operational performance unmatched by any other F-35 user. The aircraft's engine and aerodynamics remain the same, but its combat performance is amplified by the tools it carries, the software controlling those tools, and the LEV intelligence that flows into the cockpit during missions. In practical terms, Israel's F-35I can operate deeper, strike harder, and adapt faster because the country has the freedom to weaponize the platform with indigenous technology whenever needed. On the safety and survivability front, Israel may be the most aggressive innovator in the F-35 community. They have added their own electronic warfare suit designed specifically for regional threats, which evolve faster than global standards. This includes jamming systems, spoofing capabilities, decoy programs, and real-time electromagnetic mapping tools that are customized month by month. Israel's engineers often refer to the F-35I as an aircraft that must survive first and fight second because every mission could involve facing newly updated enemy radars or missiles. That's why the F-35I can be reprogrammed and retuned within days of identifying a new threat, something the United States cannot do with its own jets due to extremely strict centralized update processes. Beyond that, Israel has prioritized redundant data paths, improved battlefield awareness tools, and layered safety mechanisms that integrate directly with the country's broader air defense network. The safety enhancements aren't just about keeping the jet stealthy, they're about keeping it alive when stealth is challenged. And that philosophy has made the Adder one of the safest and most survivable fighters in modern history. Where Israel truly stands apart is in the unique selling points that make the F-35I something no other nation possesses. The biggest of these is independence. While all other F-35 operators rely on the LIOS Odeon system controlled by the United States for maintenance, diagnostics, and upgrade scheduling, Israel negotiated special authority to create its own sovereign maintenance and software ecosystem. That means Israel doesn't need U.S. permission to modify the jet's electronic brain to install new communication systems or to deploy their own EW tools. This level of independence is unprecedented. No other country in the F-35 program has been allowed this level of access. Another major selling point is adaptability. Israel has integrated open architecture that allows engineers to plug in new tools like smartphone apps, weapons, data links, intelligence feeds, and countermeasures can be changed rapidly. For a nation that fights in rapidly shifting environments, this flexibility is priceless. The next key USP is combat tested evolution. Israel has used its F-35Is in real missions, including deep strikes and cross-border operations. Each mission produces data that leads to immediate upgrades, and those upgrades feed directly back into the aircraft within days, not years. This real-time combat feedback loop is something the United States simply cannot replicate due to its global policies, bureaucratic chains, and slower development cycles. Finally, Israel's F-35I has become a national symbol of strategic independence, technological ambition, and the belief that a modern air force should evolve as fast as the threats it faces. As far as price goes, the F-35I is technically based on the F-35A, which has an average unit cost around 80 to 90 million dollars depending on the production batch. However, the real cost of the Israeli version is significantly higher when factoring in the custom software, indigenous systems, unique maintenance infrastructure, and exclusive upgrade pathways. Israel also invests heavily in ongoing modifications, local engineering support, and integration of homegrown weapons. While the exact total cost remains undisclosed, Analysts estimate that the real investment per aircraft, including customization, may bring the effective value well above $100 million. 
But for a country that prioritizes air superiority above all else, cost becomes secondary to capability and Israel has shown no hesitation in investing deeply in the ADIR program as we reach the conclusion. The core question remains, why does Israel upgrade its F-35s faster than the country that designed them? The answer is a combination of geography, necessity, strategy, and negotiation power. Israel faces threats that evolve daily, so they cannot wait years for scheduled updates. They have the engineering ecosystem to modify the jet locally. They negotiated unprecedented independence from the United States. They operate their jets constantly in live combat environments, giving them data no simulator can replicate. And perhaps most importantly, Israel views the F-35 Ive not as a finished product, but as a foundation, something to be shaped, adjusted, and enhanced continuously. America built the jet, but Israel built the flexibility. America designed the platform, but Israel designed the freedom around it. In the end, the F-35I is more than a modified F-35. It's a statement of what happens when a country takes a world-class fighter and refuses to stop improving it. And that is why the world watches the Adir so closely, because when Israel upgrades something, it often becomes the benchmark for what future generations of combat aircraft will try to achieve.